Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'll show you a new version of Aster, Aster version 2.60.0. And in this version, there are a few new features that are being introduced and will be improved upon as new versions are released. So let's get started. I've already downloaded and installed it. And let me open it. Please note, you have to run Aster as administrator if you are making changes to the Aster UI, Aster Aster Control. And uh, so the first immediate change that you will see is there's a configuration wizard button here. Previously, it was only apply, support, and exit. Now this configuration wizard will open a wizard that will allow you to assign monitor, keyboard, and mouse to corresponding workplaces. So let me show you on this screen. Once you click on it, you will have to choose the primary monitor to assign to the main workplace. So I'm going to choose 1.1. On each of the monitors, you will see similar screen where a monitor will be shown in the workplace configuration. And you will be asked to press one of the keyboard function keys. In this case, it's asking me to press F1. On the second workplace, it will ask to press F2, third workplace, F3, fourth workplace, F4, and so on. Similarly, to assign the mouse, you have to click on these two targets like this. And once it's assigned, it will appear in the workplace configuration area. And let me press the F1 keys twice. On first press, it will change to yellow. On the second press, it will turn to green, which means it will be assigned. Now, once you are done with all of the workplaces, it will automatically close and save. And for example, if you don't want to assign keyboard and mouse to other workplaces, just want to test the workplaces starting, then just press Shift and Enter, which will apply all of the configuration, as in monitor assignment to the workplaces. And if I click on Workplaces tab, you will see that one monitor has been assigned to each of the workplace. Previously, I would have to do this one by one by dragging and dropping to each of the workplace. Now, using this configuration wizard, it has made much easier and faster as well to configure the workplaces. Now, on the first workplace, this mouse is assigned, and on the one, keyboard is assigned. Similarly, for all of the workplaces, you can press the corresponding function key button twice and click on the target that's shown in the screen, and that corresponding mouse and keyboard will be assigned to that. Now, on support request, one of the options here has been removed to simplify the report generation as well as and this will include the Windows dump files, if available, to the report when you send a report. So other than that, not changed uh, on the request type. Only the technical content has been changed. And when you choose from the request type, it will automatically choose the suitable content type. And if you choose other issues, then you can change to the other two options. So let me close it. Similarly, now uh, you can see this button here. And if I hover over it, it shows Aster is disabled. Press to enable Aster. Uh, previously, this was a unassigned button and it was only showing the state of the WordPress. Now it has been changed to a button. And by clicking it, you will be able to enable the WordPress without having to go to general settings and clicking on the enable Aster button. Similarly, the button of for each of the WordPress if you have set your workplaces to start manually, then you can choose to specifically start the workplace by clicking on the button. And if you have not enabled Aster, then it will show you a error message like start workplace. Please enable Aster before you can start the workplace. So I have to enable Aster before I can start the workplaces. Let me open the Aster installation directory. Now, in the installation directory, you will notice a few additional files. One is mute automator. Let me open this with Word. And in this document, you have the details regarding APIs and how to use them. So this gives an example on how the APIs work. And here's a list of APIs that you can go through. And if any errors, then it will be displayed. So, about uh, 10 APIs that are available. Let me open the test program. You can try it yourself. And the API supports activating Astro program, deactivating the Astro, saving the workplaces, tab configuration settings to a contact JSON file or 
whatever uh, the file name that you want to say. And you can load the configuration file as well. For example, you make some change, you want to go back to the previous configuration that you had, then you can just load the configuration that you saved before. Similarly, you can reset the configuration, enable Aster, disable Aster, run setup helper. This is the configuration wizard. If you have a pro license activated, then you will be able to run all of the APIs. Similarly, you can also start all of the workplaces. Now, this prepare all in one is a special API that will activate as well as save the configuration file to your system. Now, you can go through the mute automator.rdf file here and get familiar with the APIs. You can create your own application to interface with the API or you can use the test tool to try it out. So let me move to the next feature. Let me open Aster Control again. Yes. Now let me head over to WordPress's tab. So a new feature that is being added to it is uh, being able to customize the keyboard, mouse, and other peripheral icons. So for example, uh, for keyboard, I can choose a set custom icon and choose from the list. You can also add your own. I'll show you where to add the files later on. Similarly, I can set the mouse icon from one of the list. Okay. So these are some of the custom icons that have been added. And the custom icons that are supported are for audio devices, recording devices, monitor, keyboard, and mouse. So let me also show you for the monitor, set custom icon. And you can choose from one of the list like this. And the monitor icon has changed. I said you can add your own custom icons. Let me show you where you can add them. For that, let me open Aster install directory. And here in open user images folder, and you can add the custom images here like this. Monitors like this and so on, mouse. So let me summarize the changes that have been made in Aster 2.6.0. The first one is configuration wizard has been added. Second one is the indicators have been changed into button, which will enable Astro or start the workplaces. Similarly, added option to add your own custom icons to monitor keyboard, mouse, and other peripheral devices. And uh, simplification of support request. So that's about it for this video. So stay tuned for the read in our website and i will also update the link to the download for this astro 2.60 in the video description below and if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel have a good day